my dear children through this video we are going to discuss another region of india kurg a coffee country famous for its rainforest and spices to an article written by lokesh abrol let's know how charming and beautiful our country is let's know more about the writer Dr Lokesh Abrol MD is a doctor primarily located in Gurjaan Haryana the doctor specializes as a general physician he is also a traveler and social entrepreneur in love with india who sees writes and photographs in a pleasing light Midway between Mysore and the coastal town of Mangalore sits a piece of heaven that must have drifted from the kingdom of God. This land of rolling hills is inhabited by a proud race of martial men, beautiful women and wild creatures. What is the meaning of the phrase drifted from? Drifted from means being carried along gently by air. What is martial related to fighting or war or you could say uh, military? Okay, so in the textbook it is given having to do with war. Here the narrator gives a typical picture of the place Kurg. Kurg is situated midway between Mysore and Mangalore. It is so beautiful that it seems like a piece of heaven. Just imagine a piece of heaven that has been carried along by air from God's kingdom and has been settled on the earth. It is Uh, actually this kurg is an area with low hills of unequal heights okay uh, the men of uh, this place are brave warriors wherein the women are very beautiful and it has a variety of wild animals too Kurg or Kotaku the smallest district of Karnataka is home to evergreen rainforests spices and coffee plantations evergreen rainforests cover 30% of this district during the monsoons it pours enough to keep many visitors away Kurg is also known as Kodagu okay Uh, this kurg is one of the smallest districts of karnataka so kurg is a district of karnataka 30 percentage of the area of kurg is covered with what evergreen rainforest and the place receives rain for most part of the year okay throughout the year there will be rain especially during the monsoon season so it's very difficult for the visitors to see the sceneries during the monsoon season the season of joy commences from september and continues till march the weather is perfect with some showers thrown in for good measure the air breathes of invigorating coffee coffee estates and colonial bungalows stand tucked under tree canopies in prime corners So what do you mean by canopies? Canopies means uh, roof-like coverings made of trees uh, that form a shelter. Okay, so that is canopy. Here, the meaning of the word prime is best. Okay, invigorating means what? Strong. Invigorating, strong. The period from September to March is the ideal time for visiting Kurg because uh, during this time the weather is pleasant and there will be some rain only. The air in this place is uh, filled with a strong fragrance of coffee because this place is famous for coffee plantations. 
lots of coffee estates and colonial bungalows uh, you could see under the tree canopies so there will be full of trees so just imagine under these trees only these coffee plantations as well as these bungalows are there okay the fiercely independent people of kug are possibly of greek or arabic descent as one story goes a part of alexander's army moved south along the coast and settled here when return became impractical these people married amongst the locals and their culture is apparent in the martial traditions marriage and religious rites which are distinct from the hindu mainstream here the meaning of the word fiercely is violently aggressively what do you mean by descent origin and what is the meaning of the word apparent clearly visible apparent means clearly visible or you can otherwise say evident the people of kurk are believed to be of greek or arabic background and that is they have that uh, origin from greek or arabic and these people are generously very aggressive uh, one story goes like this Uh, that is a part of alexander's army uh, they were moving south along the coast but they were not able to return to their homeland and so they settled there itself and later started marrying people from that uh, uh, locality their culture is actually clearly visible in the martial traditions marriages religious rituals which are actually uh, different from uh, uh, the one uh, or the rituals followed by the hindus the theory of arab origin draws support from the long black coat with an embroidered waist belt owned by the kadavus known as kufia it resembles the kufia owned by the arabs and the kurds here kadavus are the people of kodagu they are known as kodavus because they speak kodava language okay kurds uh, some iranian uh, uh, group of people so the theory uh, of arab origin came into existence because of their uh, dressing style these people are generally seen wearing long and black coat with embroidered waist belt and the name of their dress is kufia and this kufia is similar to the dress worn by arabs and kurds which are known as kufia understood maybe because of that these people are uh, considered to be the descendants of arabs Kurgi homes have a tradition of hospitality and they are more than willing to recount numerous tales of valor related to their sons and fathers. The Kurg regiment is one of the most decorated in the Indian army and the first chief of the Indian army General Kariyappa was a Kurgi. Even now Kadavus are the only people in India permitted to carry firearms without a license. Here recount means give an account of tales of valor stories of courage and bravery usually in war. Regiment a permanent unit of an army. Regiment a permanent unit of an army most decorated means having received the maximum number of awards for bravery in war firearms means portable gun here the writer says that the people in kurg are very welcoming and warm in nature they are always ready to entertain others with stories of their sons and fathers they are known to be independent ferocious and brave which is evident from the fact that the kurg regiment 
in the Indian Army has received the maximum number of awards for bravery. The first chief of the Indian Army named General Kariyappa. He belonged to Kurg. Also, these are the only people permitted to carry firearms freely unlike others who need a license. This shows that the Kurgis are reliable to. The river Kaviri obtains its water from the hills and forests of Kurg. Mahazir, a large freshwater fish, abound in these waters. Kingfishers dive for their catch while squirrels and languids drop partially eaten fruit for the mischief of enjoying the splash and the ripple effect in the clear water. Elephants enjoy being bathed and scrubbed in the river by their mahouts. Here, the word abound means exist in large number. Lango is a typical type of monkey. Mischief, you know, playful behavior. Ripple effect, I think you understood what it is. The waves or series of waves on the surface of water when you drop something on it. Mahout, a person who works with rides and trains an elephant. The evergreen forest and hills of Kurg provide water to which river? River Kaveri, which is a major river in South India. Here, you could see a large freshwater fish called Mahazir in large numbers. Okay, the kingfishers will dive and catch their prey. While the squirrels and the lankers could be seen dropping the partially eaten fruit and enjoying the splash and the ripple effect in the clear water. You could also see elephants enjoying uh, the bathe and the scrub given by their mahouts. The most laid back individuals become converts to the life of high energy adventure with river rafting, canoeing, rappelling, rock climbing and mountain biking. Numerous walking trails in this region are a favorite with trekkers. Here, laid back means relaxed, not in a hurry. Rafting, uh, it's a traveling in a river in a raft. Canoeing is also a traveling in a river in a canoe. Canoe means a large narrow boat. Rappelling, going down a cliff by sliding down a rope. I think you know what trials. Trials, paths created by walking. The tourists who visit Kurg to relax uh, in the natural beauty of the place also get attracted towards uh, the various adventure sports activities like uh, river rafting, canoeing, rappelling, rock climbing and mountain climbing. The hills have various paths formed by footsteps of walkers who track there. Okay? Birds, bees and butterflies are there to give you company. Macuas, malabar squirrels, lanquas and slender loris keep a watchful eye from the tree canopy. I do, however, prefer to step aside for wild elephants. While taking a walk in this region, sometimes you will find uh, a variety of animals around you. Birds, bees, butterflies flying around you while squirrels and lankers keep an eye on you from the trees. You have to be very careful about the wild elephants also. The climb to the Brahmagiri hills brings you into a panoramic view of the entire misty landscape of Kurg. 
A walk across the rock bridge leads to the 64-acre island of Nisargadhama. Running into Buddhist monks from India's largest Tibetan settlement at nearby Baila Kuppe is a bonus. Here, panoramic view means a view of a wide area of land. So, to have an overall look at the beautiful city of Kur, one must climb up to Brahmagiri Hills. Kurg is surrounded by astounding places of beauty like the island of Nisargadhama and Baila Kuppe, which is India's largest Tibetan settlement. The monks in red, okay, and yellow robes are amongst the many surprises that wait to be discovered by visitors searching for the heart and soul of India right here in Korg. Here occur O-C-H-R-E although the spelling is like this the pronunciation is occur. Occur is an earthly pigment containing ferric oxide. Here the meaning is a pale brownish yellow color. Okay. Here the narrator says that the monks wearing red orange and yellow colored garments can also be found in the district of Kurg where the lifestyle is a fascinating view for the travelers. A mix of diverse culture can be seen here which represent the heart and soul of India. How can we reach Kurg? By Tikuri, the district Headquarters is the Bully Gateway to Kurg. The misty hills, lush forest and coffee plantations will cost a spell on you. Find a resort, coffee estate or stay in a home for a truly Kurgi experience. Can we go by air? The nearest airports are Mangaluru and Bangaluru. There are flights to Mangalore from Mumbai and to Bangaluru from Ahmedabad, Chennai, Delhi, Goa, Hyderabad, Kochi, Kolkata, Mumbai and Pune. Can we go by rail? The nearest railheads are at Mysore, Mangaluru and Hassan. How can we go by road? There are two routes to Kur from Bangaluru. Both are almost the same distance, around 250 to 260 kilometers. The route via Mysore is the most frequented one. The other route is via Nilamangal, Kuningal and Chandrayanapatna. Thank you, ma'am.